Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Sean Solo 8 and today we're going to be going over a Marvel Legends action figure review. I've got X-Men Stepford Cuckoos. As you can see, there's three of them. So I did have to pick up three bodies so I can put the three separate heads on because I am an opener. I definitely want to put them all three together on my shelf. I do have Emma Frost uh their main clone where they came from because these are clones here's a little side art which looks absolutely awesome i was sold when i seen it i was hyped up through facebook groups and loads of places so i couldn't resist the hype let me just zoom up on the words here it says physically linked mutants the cuckoo sisters are powerful clones of the telepath emma frost and of course they have several different languages bunch of choking hazards on the bottom there you have the x-men logo on the top and the upc on the bottom will actually help you find these uh, at your walgreens that, that worked for me on i think it was brickseek.com or maybe it was pop finder and without further ado let me get the stepford cuckoos out of their package and let's take a closer look Boom, the Stepford Cuckoos are out of their package and they are absolutely awesome. They're super easy to articulate, super fun to pose. I'll show you how the clothes work on them here in a minute, but their skirts enable them to do the splits and all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, the fun part about this is now I got a bunch of extra head molds. Uh, these are the different heads uh, and I picked the one with the best one because as you can see, the eyes aren't the same. Uh, on all of them overall though my eyes came out really good but see the detail and the hair looks absolutely awesome all the dark lines all throughout uh, you can see where there's little ponytail holders in there which looks really cool the hair is soft and rubbery and you can see the detail on the lips and the nose uh, so overall yeah this is an amazing head mold so if i ever get to the point where i start customizing uh, these are going to be perfect as you can see, the face, uh, one of the eyes on this one, I believe, was pretty bad. Yeah, this one looks like she's got a pupil on her eyelid. But the same thing with the hair on this. It almost looks like the same top part. No, it's actually different. It's actually different right there. You can see the paint on here is, is a little bit different on the eyes, too. But, yeah, they're all different. The hair on this one just, this one's a little bit tougher than the other molds hairs, but you can see they all have little balls that pop in. Uh, they also come with two pairs of fists each. So you've got two cool fisted hands with extremely high detail in there. And they also have a hinge on those. And they're very easy to get on and off. And then of course you get their telepath power hands also which again have a lot of amazing detail on there so definitely doesn't hurt to get a bunch of these this is the helmet uh that they come with they do of course if you get like me we'll have three of them there's a little hole in the back here i'm not sure what the hole is for but uh let's have a look at one of them with the helmet on you can see looks pretty cool so you can definitely leave that on and that's not even snug on all the way so it does fit her, and you can, of course, push it down however you want. And then, of course, there you are. Uh, so you'd put it on that nose. I don't really want to me mess up the face paint, even though I do have three, so it'll be okay if I did, but it doesn't want to fit on that one too well. And as you can see why I wanted the three head molds, it's absolutely awesome. Okay, the next accessory that they come with are these cool little bands on their arms that are actually universal you could probably use this for all kinds of action figures which actually look awesome let me just get the zoom up on her wrist there but you can see how cool that is and it's translucent and it's really soft and uh, bendy you can see how i can pull it and move it around so you don't even have to have them uh, on her wrist and you can see it's on a little hinge there and let me put in her fist now that looks cool because now she's doing like a punch. For our articulation, we're going to go ahead and check out this, this cuckoo here. And we'll go ahead and check out the head. It's going to tilt down because they are on a ball joint. So it looks down really, really good. She looks up actually really great. Uh, her head does tilt side to side. 
And on this cuckoo, we have looking down pretty far, looking up extremely high. You can see in the head that there's actually a ball with a little uh, hinge in there that just goes up and down. So overall articulation in the neck, you're not gonna have any problems with these figures. The way they pop off, you just see how, you can see the head's pretty easy. It's on a ball and with a little hinge there. Just pop it back in and it's nice and snug. Uh, articulation wise, let's take a look. Arm goes up about that high. The only bummer that I see is you can see a little bit of the white inside the arm there. Uh, it does rotate 360. They do come with single jointed elbows. And of course their wrists uh, do bend down and up to give that cool looking push with their powers. Uh, diaphragm joint in here looks like she can tilt back pretty far on the back. Jackie doesn't really hinder it too bad. And she does bend down really good also does tilt side to side and you can see the detail on the outfit looks really good you can see the buttons going all the way down on the outfit and it carries on all the way out up into the arms but you can see in the arms uh, that's where her arms are actually painted on and the jacket is but overall it looks totally awesome you couldn't ask for better than that for 1999 at least in my book looks absolutely great they all have an upper swivel cut in the legs. The slit in the skirt enables her to kick up that far and kick back this far. There is an upper swivel cut, a double jointed knee, rotation where the sock is, and it's really nice how they did that with two separate cuts. You can see the detail on the shoelaces look great. And on the bottom there is a little bit of traction with some peg holes also. Her foot does hinge down and goes up about that far and also has an amazing hinge articulation. Pretty the fisted hands articulation. You can see it does pop up like that, which looks absolutely awesome too, and bends down about that far. And of course they do rotate. But overall, I highly recommend these figures for any collector out there. These look absolutely awesome. Oh, I didn't check her head. This cuckoo looks down that far, looks up way far. And of course she does tilt her head side to side. Overall, I would highly recommend these figures for any action figure collector out there. Even if you're after head molds, uh, hands, or even these cool little deals right here. Overall, this is an excellent figure. Thanks for checking out today's video. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next video.